we have from Amazon. You know you're subscribed to Amazon Prime. You probably have a Twitch sub, for a, a Prime sub that you don't ever use. Grab the games; they're free. Uh, we don't; they're actually not too not too bad. Uh, in November, Amazon is giving out Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition. If you somehow don't have it, th- this game has probably been on sale forever. You could probably get it for like five bucks. But it is a first-person shooter RPG from Obsidian Entertainment and Bethesda. It is a probably one of the most highly regarded Fallout games. I want to say ever. People people enjoyed Fallout 3. People enjoy Fallout 4. But for whatever reason, um, I guess Obsidian Entertainment's pedigree, when they did the Fallout New Vegas game, people love the crap out of it. I, I think it's most people's favorite of the first-person Fallout games. Uh, next up, we have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. This is kind of a continuing theme with Amazon Prime Gaming. Uh, this is a LucasArts uh, point-and-click adventure game from the 90s. Uh, I think last week there was Loom, which was kind of like a similar LucasArts game. So it appears that Amazon Prime is giving out a lot of these older LucasArts titles from the early 90s. And this is the next one up. And then after that, we have a game called Facility 47. It is a puzzle game set in a research facility in Antarctica. WRC 9 is a rally racing game for the uh, racing game folks. Etherborn is an environmental puzzle platformer built around understanding gravity shifting structures, which is a mouthful. Yeah. It's it's interesting, an interesting kind of art style uh, around with it, but um, I don't know. I'm not a big puzzle game guy, but uh, there are a decent amount of puzzle games here, so if you're into that kind of stuff, Amazon Prime is giving you a whole bunch of stuff to look at. Uh, next up there is Whispering Willows, which is a horror adventure puzzle game set in some kind of mysterious mansion you're uh i think you're a girl trying to find her missing father something like that so you know a little bit of a little bit of spooky stuff along with your puzzle game with that one and then finally they are giving away last day of june it is a interactive cinematic adventure game about love and loss a lot of feels in this one it sounds like and i just want to call out the the art aesthetic for last day of june it is kind of unsettling um, the, the character, the characters have concaved oh, spaces is, where their eyes should be, where their yeah, eyes should be. Yeah, this reminds me of Coraline a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I was going to, I lines. was going to mention Coraline. Yeah. It, it is, it seems like it's a, it's going to be a really, really decent cinematic adventure game if that's, if that's, if that's what you're into. But I, I will say that the, the aesthetic of it is way more interesting than I think the game might be. I don't know. Yeah, I, the aesthetic looks dope. I mean, like, they have uh, famous paintings, like, all over the walls and stuff of uh, Van Gogh in one of the screenshots that I've seen. Uh, and even in those paintings, the, the, all the eyeballs are going. It's fucking weird. It's very weird. Yeah. 